Betsy Allen Manning here, leadership speaker, best-selling author, human behavior expert. I'm coming to you from my home in Dallas, Texas uh, with my little girl Bella right by my side. And I wanna talk to you today about being an impact leader during this time and really how can you make a difference during this time of chaos? Because there's really a three types of people during this time. There's the manipulators who are gonna say, um, we're gonna raise the, the price of toilet paper since we know it's in need right now, right? They're gonna ma manipulate and get what they need, the takers. There's the people that kind of, uh, the pickers, what I call them, they're picking on other people for having their opinions, trying to be safe, trying to be cautious, taking their six foot distance. You know, I learned of a, a, a girl in the grocery store in the next door app, um, I was making fun of a lady for coming in with a mask, not realizing she has an autoimmune disease. Uh, there's people like that that are just picking on others and making them feel bad for taking precautions. And then there's impact leaders who sit there and say, how can I make a difference during this time? And it's not that they're not being affected by this. They are definitely being affected by this. We all are. But they're the ones that my dad always told me, when you're going through a crisis or, or some kind of trouble, always ask yourself, how can I help somebody else at this time? Because when you're helping somebody else, it takes the focus off of yourself and your own problems and it helps you put somebody else first and put them their needs ahead of you. So what are some of the things that you can do? Well, grocery clerks, nurses, doctors are all working overtime right now. They're making their impact that way. But how can you and I make an impact? Well, my sister was telling me, she works in a, a nursing home in Rochester, New York, and she was saying that her kids, because the nursing home residents aren't able to have visitors right now, the kids are writing emails to the residents so that they have something to read so they feel like they're still connecting with the outside world. So how can you make a difference? How can you take the focus off of your own problems today and just put it on somebody else and help somebody else out in need? And that's how you truly become an impact leader and make your mark on the world.